Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Consider a coffee mug on a table in an airplane accelerating to the left. A force of friction must act on the mug if it is to accelerate with the plane. If the force of friction is equal to zero, the mug will slide to the right relative to the plane, which would be a non-inertial reference frame. A uh, no-no. <laughs> In this frame, a fictitious force would be introduced. Mm -mm. On the ground, an inertial reference frame, an observer would simply say that the mug continues traveling at the velocity the plane had before the plane accelerated. Let's now watch a movie of me riding in an airplane. Lights, turn on projector. Putting myself in a non-inertial reference frame, it appears as if everything's being pushed toward me. Putting ourselves in an inertial reference frame, we realize that there isn't enough friction to keep the mug and apple accelerating with the plane. When the plane is accelerating, it's easier to do the physics from the ground in an inertial reference frame. Boy, does this apple look good. Cool. Now the plane's an inertial reference frame, so the horizontal velocity of the apple is always that of the plane. The plane's traveling at a constant velocity. I drop the mug and it falls straight down, just like in the classroom. Both are an inertial reference frame, so the laws of physics hold. Physics is fun. Well, that was great. Okay, so for homework, do... See ya, Mr. Weatherhole.